Hey guys, what is up? My name is Animesh and today yeah, I'm in front of you with a new video. So today again in my video, I have my new camera that is Canon EOS 1300D aka Rebel T6. So guys as usual, I have posted two earlier videos by uh, in which uh, in first video I did the unboxing of the camera. In the second video, I had the functions, the outer functions of the camera. So in today's video, what we will do, we will just see the different functions and the beginner's guide to operate this camera. So guys, for that, I need to put on the camera. So guys, the camera is on. As you can see, here are the dials, different function dials. So for now, we will set the dial to auto mode. The auto mode is the screen intelligent auto, fully automatic shooting mode. And for this, the fully automatic scene will be captured. You don't need to do anything in the diverse shooting situations. Uh, that is autofocus mode, brightness, flash, color, tone are set according to the scene. So basically guys, if you're a new DSLR user like me. So by the way, I have learned uh, cool different things of this camera. So I usually prefer the manual mode, but uh, as such of a newcomer. So you can use this mode firstly so what we'll do with this mode it will set everything automatically the autofocus mode the iso speed the shutter speed the aperture etc so yeah guys let's take a look like just you need to focus on the image that is on the camera so what we what i'll do is i will write something on the board first like i i'll write my name like alma basic hobbies youtube so i have right animation loves youtube so guys let me put on the marker cap and i hope you can see what i have written so like this the camera will also focus let's focus on the camera and it's not focusing because i am too uh, what we say near to the scene so I'll just move a little bit back and now you can see guys. Okay, now also it cannot focus. Why? I don't know. So let's do it again. So guys, as you saw the video mode in this video mode, the camera just uh, captured the image and what we say the flash automatically popped up because this photo needed a flash so let me show you the image which is captured as you can see the image is captured so in this mode you can do anything and without doing anything you can do everything i hope it makes sense <laughs> so yeah guys so the let me or else let us focus on this and the next mode is is the flash off mode this mode is the flash off mode uh, flash disabled no dark scenes prone to camera shake guys if you are in a museum or somewhere where is the mobile flash or the camera flash is disabled or prohibited to use so you can just use you can switch uh, if uh, for example you're on manual mode so you can just put on your dial to flash off mode so this will not let the flash pop up as you can see i am pushing the button but it is it's not on it the function is not selectable in the current shooting mode it says that so guys let us capture the photo again as you can as you saw guys the photo is captured without the flash so this mode is the flash off mode and this uh, the third most mode is the uh, what we say the blur mode that is CA so basically in this it is a creative auto mode uh, in this you can just create good photos like an automatic mode for simple setting of blur uh, blur images like you have seen in many videos like uh, and many photos like the object is in focus and the background is blurred so what you can do is press this Q button by using this scroll or by using this key you can just set this to blur 
the left is the most blur and the right is the most sharp so let's do it for the blur let's put off the flash and like this you can capture the photograph like you can see the image is blurred and yep the next mode is the portrait mode you all must be knowing for portrait shot background or blurred objects stand out etc so for portrait mode like this you can do like you can see the background is blurred and the portrait is short like the image of the marker and this one right here you can see and the next mode is of landscape mode nothing to say about the landscape mode and you can just go out and click some decent footage of out of it and next next is the close up mode like you, the close up mode is usually used in clicking the photographs of the animals and the flowers plants nature etc so it is of a close up mode next mode is the sports mode in this you can capture the photo of a continuous shooting subjects like someone is running or a car is going so in motion shooting with viewfinder is recommended in this so you cannot shoot with this lcd screen you just need to pop up this button the viewfinder is on and yep you can just hear the noise how it shoots in burst like you just heard it so this is the sports mode and this one mode this mode is the food mode like if you are a very foodie kind of person if you are going enjoying luxury or the good food and you want to post it so you can just uh, do the settings and you can just put uh, not the settings you can just put the button on this food mode and capture the images of food this is a night portrait mode as you can see in the if you are there in a very dark scene for portrait shot with illuminated light night scenes in the background so yep guys for this also a tripod is recommended for a stabilized photo next mode is my favorite and the top most mode that is video recording mode this is nothing but the video recording and if any uh, in any mode like in manual mode let us explain let me explain the manual mode everything is manual you can you have a photographic freedom for this setting up the shutter speed by this dial setting up the shutter speed the less sh the more shutter speed is the more brighter object and the focus speed uh, the focus number aperture mode the less aperture is the most brightest one iso speed i prefer the auto iso speed and yeah nothing else so this is the fully automatic mode the next one is the aperture priority this also gives a forehead and background in focus so you can see the aperture priority shutter priority adjust the shutter speed you can uh, adjust the sh shutter speed by your own and the program ae auto setting for shutter speed and aperture other settings can be manual so guys this was the video of the camera let's put off the camera but wait uh, let's i will explain you one more function that is this image uh, let me zoom in so as i have explained this in my previous video but still i'll do explain this one this is the image stabilizer off mode and this is the on mode if you want to stabilize your image use this i also prefer but in time lapse and slow motion uh, sorry not slow motion but in time lapse this should be set to off and the auto focus also will be set to off so for time lapse capturing i'll make an another video so for now this is the manual mode so you have to focus manually as you can see as i'm doing it manually and when i set it to auto mode you can hear that noise so let's stabilize the image and guys this was all for the video and if you like the video please comment down in the comment section below please like the video if you like the new setup and 
if you are new please 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 it's my sincere request please subscribe my channel don't mind my writing please subscribe my channel and please ring the bell i hope you can recognize that it's a bell so guys please like subscribe share and i hope you will will you'll be having a good day thanks for watching and bye bye